Okay, we're about to give the Equinox 600 its first real-world test at this old home site. This is a spot that I've pounded to death and others have pounded to death with all kinds of different machines, usually with small coils. So I'm out here with the Equinox with the stock 11-inch coil, which seems silly to be searching this site with an 11-inch coil. So I'm going to be trying to find anything non-conductive. I mean, I'm sorry, non-ferrous. If I can't find anything non-ferrous, it doesn't really reflect on the machine, especially with this big coil, because the last several times that I and others have been out here, we haven't found anything that wasn't ferrous. So uh, I'm going to be using part two, and I'm gonna go ahead also Sorry, let me get back to part two. And I am going to open up the iron also. And we're gonna see how it sounds. So after trying it with those uh, default part two settings, I was a little overwhelmed with all the uh, signals. So I bumped the tones down from 50 to five. And I got this signal that I'm about to dig. Let me show you. So it's really shallow. I'm going to uh, go ahead and dig that. Well, hole number one proved to be non-productive. A nail. And looks like a... Get out of here. Get out of there, grass. Well, it's like a uh, bolt of some kind. So it must have been laying that way, and the machine just got the top of it. Let's keep going. This one actually doesn't sound too bad. It's giving a VDI about 14, 13. Now there's so many nails in here. I'm not gonna live dig this one because it's gonna take a few minutes probably to get the nails out of the way. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig this and I'll find whatever it is if there's anything non-ferrous so I can show it. Okay, when I tell you this side is trashy with iron nails and such, it ain't no joke. Here's what came out of that hole. This is the only thing of any kind of interest is some kind of a hook, but it's iron. Oh, that's iron. That all came out of a hole uh, about the size of the coil. So let's keep going. And that's why I say that it's kind of ridiculous being in a site like this with an 11 inch coil. It really needs a small coil. So let's keep going. So only a few feet from that last fiasco of a hole, I get this one. Also about a 15 or so. Signal is very similar, but I'm going to go ahead and dig it and see. Okay, so out of this hole, I was able to dig what looks like a snap, like overalls, or a pants snap, and that does have... So there is a non-ferrous component to that. I think it's non it's iron and something else. If, on the top that is not ferrous so so yeah I mean that's cool I mean it's a snap it's not ferrous and also out of the same hole came one two this big nail at least four nails out of the same hole and the snap so that's cool I'll take it Let's keep going. Okay, this one might be the best sound of the day so far. I'm getting a high tone. Bouncing around a little bit, of course, because there's probably a billion nails in this hole. So, wow, that... Actually, I'm kind of excited about that hole. Let's see what's up with it. It's a lot of uh, digging to get that out, but here's what came out of that hole. Five nails, 
and I'm pretty sure that is the handle from a spoon and that was deep that was probably nine ten inches or so deep so I think it uh, was really just the fact that it's flat and it's iron and it was ca causing a false signal but uh, I think that's a spoon handle let's keep going okay here's our next one Whatever this one is, it is in the plug, and I haven't gotten it out yet. That's actually pretty promising right there to get a good signal like that in the plug. That's another button or snap, I think. I don't know, it almost looks like a gear of some kind. This is without a doubt non-ferrous. It's got some kind of gearing in it. Let's see, I'm impressed just that it found that. I wonder what else is in that hole. Because I know there's nails in there. Yeah, see, one now. Big one too. Another now. See, it's still got that gear thing, despite the nails in the hole. Well, hey, that's cool. So that's two non-ferrous items. They're Granted, they're not exactly what would you, you would call keepers, but I was able to pluck them out of a spot where generally I never find anything that's not ferrous. We will keep going. Okay, here's the next one. This one's actually locking on pretty good to a, a middle tone. Seventeen, eighteen. Let's see what's up with that. All right, check it out down here. In the side of this hole, see there's something else. That's a button, folks. Let me see if I can get it cleaned off a little bit. So how about that? I got this clean, cleaned up a little bit, and... Yeah, that's a button. Doesn't have any markings on it. Looks like it's missing the back. Yeah, that's a button. Check it out. Giving about a 19 on the VDI. Now, how did, was that missed? Well, this was also in the hole. Hmm? Two. This scrap metal right there. And also, what was also in the hole? Was this modern bullet. That was also in the hole. So how about that? I've got a button. Can't believe that. Out of this place with an 11 inch coil. No, those nails. I'm just, all right, how about that? Let's keep going. Okay, I just dug another hole. I didn't, 
I didn't video the uh, the signal I was getting on this one, mainly because all these signals are sounding the same as all the others that you've already seen. They um they're basically iron signals with uh, just a squeak coming in. The VDIs doesn't really seem to matter because there's so many nails like this. This was in this hole, but again, I'd, I'm kind of coming out shocked. That was in there also. And I think this is a button as well. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but let me see if I can see what it is and I'll show you in a minute. Here's the best ID, or the, I'm sorry, the best cleaning I could temporarily get from that button. It's got some kind of design on it. It's plain on the back. Nothing I mean, it's nothing monumental, but just the fact that it, that, that Equinox with that big coil was able to pick now two buttons out of here? You're kidding me. Uh, I'm impressed. Can't, can't say it enough. Let's see what else is out here. Okay, this one might be the last one that I dig for right now, at least for today. Uh, this is a pretty good high tone. I'm going to hit the iron button. There's definitely iron in there too. So let's see what's up with this one. Well, that last one turned out to be, well, looks like a, I can't really even tell. It looks like maybe casing from a bullet or something. I, like a modern bullet, nothing, nothing special. But uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Not bad. We got two buttons, uh, a snap, and that looks like the uh, like a, a modern bullet. But those two bullet, two uh, two buttons, I'm still shocked about that. But uh, yeah, I'm really digging the Equinox. And I can, uh, I can think it's, it's going to be killer with a small coil in a, in a spot like this. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you uh, subscribed, if you like what you're seeing.